the Neolithic Stone Age in continental Europe experienced significant demographic changes and population events. Recent studies have traced the genetic ancestry, affinities, and admixture processes between various human groups from different periods and regions. These research, which consider cultural practices such as burial customs and material culture, has underscored the importance of mobility and migration in the population turnover and the transition to new lifestyles. Around 3000 BCE, a notable demographic shift occurred with the migration of the Yamnaya culture from the Pontic Steppe into Eastern Europe, profoundly impacting the genetic, cultural, social, and linguistic development in the region. This migration coincides with the emergence of the corded ware culture in Northern Europe, known for its significant steppe ancestry. However, variations in steppe ancestry were observed among contemporaneous populations in Central Europe, with the globular amphora culture showing no steppe ancestry. Despite significant advancements in understanding Europe's demographic prehistory, the resolution of these events remains incomplete, and further insights into social processes are needed. The population dynamics and interpretations of the Yamnaya and Corded Ware Complexes archaeogenomic data continue to be subjects of extensive debate and review. Around 5400 BCE, the introduction of farming in central Poland coincided with the emergence of the linear pottery culture, marking the early Neolithic period. Hunter-gatherer populations coexisted with these farming communities for nearly a millennium, evident from admixture patterns. This interaction is seen in the brzezhch kujawski group of the Lengyel complex in Kujawia from 4000 BCE the funnel beaker culture spread across northern central Europe, including Poland and parts of Scandinavia. Funnel beaker culture individuals exhibited genetic admixture with Western European hunter gatherers. By 3100 BCE, funnel beaker culture was replaced by the Baden and Globular Amphora cultures. The GAC was short lived, and around 2800 BCE, the corded ware complex became dominant persisting for another 500 years before disappearing. Individuals of the globular amphora culture and the corded ware culture in Poland show distinct ancestries. The corded ware culture individuals exhibit significant input from the eastern Yamnaya steppe pastoralists, while globular amphora culture individuals show little to no steppe ancestry. Around 2400 BCE, the Belbeka culture introduced another genetic component to the local population, which was evident until its disappearance around 2200 BCE. The genetic shifts highlight the extensive admixture and mobility in continental Europe, with Yamnaya contributions including Y-chromosome haplogroups R1A and R1B and mitochondrial haplogroups U2 and W. These changes largely replaced the previously widespread G2A haplogroup and diminished the genetic influence of Mesolithic hunter-gatherers and early Neolithic farmers. The study of corded ware culture individuals reveals admixture with hunter-gatherer groups and steppe culture groups like Afanasievo and Yamnaya. Evidence of further admixture with Belbeka individuals suggests that prehistoric Poland was a significant genetic melting pot. One of the most notable features of the corded ware culture is its funeral rituals, which rapidly spread across Central Europe. Researchers have tried to map out the migration patterns and identify possible regional subgroups within this vast culture. To understand the interactions between these subgroups and surrounding populations, analyzing individuals from this period 2800 to 2300 BCE, is crucial. By investigating genomic signatures in southeastern Poland, a complex picture of admixture from various cultural groups emerges. Samples from the petrous portion of the temporal bone were taken from 50 individuals of the corded ware complex and three from the Belbeka culture in southeastern Poland. 
genetic data was obtained from 19 individuals, 16 corded ware culture and 3 bell beaker culture from 3 regions, Rosezzo Foothills, Mauapolska Upland and Sokol Ridge. Strontium isotope analysis was conducted on dental enamel from 16 individuals, with additional carbon and nitrogen isotope analyses on 8 individuals. This study examined genetic variation in relation to geographical subgroups and archaeological context, dividing individuals into several groups based on these findings. The genetic sequences displayed typical ancient DNA patterns confirming their authenticity. Mitochondrial DNA analyses revealed lineages of European or West Eurasian origin, including haplogroups H, HV, I2, J1, K1, T1, T2, U4, and U5. Unlike the Yamnaya complex, Corded ware culture and bell beaker culture individuals lacked the W and U2 haplogroups. Molecular sexing identified 8 females and 11 males, with Y chromosome haplogroups R1BM269 or RL11 in 9 males, characteristic of Yamnaya and bell beaker populations. Specific individuals from Prosowicz, Svint, and Skoroshuf exhibited reduced diversity, suggesting closer genetic connections. To investigate and visualize genetic relations between Polish corded ware individuals and both present day and ancient populations, scientists performed PCA on autosomal genomic data. The PCA results showed distinct genetic separation between corded ware culture and bell beaker culture individuals from southern Poland. Admixture analyses revealed Polish Enneolithic individuals carried major components from West and North European hunter-gatherers, Near East Neolithic, and Asian origins. All individuals studied are associated with burials from the corded ware and bell beaker complexes. Geographic location and strontium isotope analysis identified four territorial subgroups, while genetics indicated at least two distinct groups. Unlike previous studies, most mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA lineages, found are linked to European Neolithic farming groups rather than Yamnaya pastoralists, suggesting continuity with earlier Neolithic populations. The Y-chromosome haplogroups R1BM269 or RL11, common in Yamnaya and Bell Beaker individuals, were also identified, indicating steppe influence. However, the typical corded ware culture burial pattern persisted. This study shows a higher level of continuity with earlier Neolithic individuals than previously observed. The PCA analysis revealed a clear genetic separation between corded ware culture and bell beaker culture individuals in southern Poland, despite their geographical proximity. Corded ware culture individuals from southern Poland genetically align with previously published individuals from Germany, while those from the Polish lowlands resemble bell beaker culture individuals. This suggests that the corded ware culture communities in the Polish lowlands represent the northwestern parts of it, known as the single grave culture. Bell beaker culture individuals from southeastern Poland overlap genetically with its populations from Central Europe. These findings highlight regional variations in the genetic impact of the Yamnaya migration event across Europe. Statistics showed that corded ware culture individuals from southeastern Poland are genetically distinct from the Yamnaya individuals. In contrast, corded ware culture individuals from Pelczyska are more closely related to individuals from Germany, Estonia, Lithuania, and western Poland, excluding Yamnaya. These results emphasize the varying genetic legacies left by the Yamnaya migration across different European regions and cultures. Scientists obtain statistically significant values showing that Group 2 is closer to Groups 1, confirming that the Bell Beaker culture Pukchiska individuals form a distinct population group. This suggests structuring within the Enneolithic 
in southern Poland and between groups representing the same cultural horizon. Compared to early and middle Neolithic samples, groups 1, 2, and 4 of the corded ware culture are equally distant from Yamnaya pastoralists and other groups from Estonia, Germany, Lithuania, and central Poland. Southeastern Polish corded ware culture individuals are closer to Yamnaya than Polish lowland individuals, highlighting differences between lowland and upland materials. Belbica individuals from Pelciska show closer genetic ties to corded ware culture groups from Germany, Polish lowlands and Estonia, as well as Belbica populations from Germany and Czech over steppe ancestors. They also have affinities with Neolithic Iberian, Italian, Hungarian, Swedish, Polish TRB, and Brzezcz Kujawski group populations, suggesting continuity with earlier populations rather than Yamnaya. This genetic pattern aligns with the Belbica culture complex in Central Europe. Building on the idea that the corded ware culture complex identity is founded on burial rituals, studying graves and double burials offers insights into its social structures and possible kinship. Positive results were obtained from three double graves containing individuals of the same sex. In Quopis Grave 11 and Swaint Grave 408, kinship was observed, indicating second-degree and first-degree relationships, respectively. The young boys in Wubchi's double grave were not closely related, but shared a Y-chromosome haplogroup, suggesting possible shared ancestry. Interestingly, in Swint, a younger female was exhumed and reburied with an older relative, indicating complex burial practices and social organization. Additionally, closely related individuals, such as a probable father and son, were buried in close proximity in Swint graves 40A and 43, emphasizing the importance of kinship in corded ware culture funeral customs. Social processes in prehistory are challenging to identify and interpret. Ancient DNA and genomic analysis allow us to detect structuring and population dynamics within the corded ware culture complex and between corded ware culture and bell beaker cultures in Enneolithic southeastern Poland. By evaluating admixture, we can trace the impact of demographic events like the steppe expansions. This study reveals strong connections to central Germany and the German lowlands, with less association between Kujawia and southern Poland, highlighting spread routes of corded ware culture traditions. The unusual signal between corded ware culture and the Afanasievo complex suggests a complex population history. These findings align with recent archaeological reviews, indicating a lesser impact of the Yamnaya event than previously thought. This region was a significant social area in the 3rd millennium BCE, potentially witnessing the emergence of typical Bell Beaker culture genomics nearly 200 years earlier than elsewhere in Europe. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.